Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how Tableau versions work and how to find out which version of Tableau you're using, whether it's Tableau Online, Desktop, Prep, wherever you're using, I'm gonna show you how to find out the version. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so I'm gonna start first with Server and Tableau Online. I'm actually here on Tableau Online, but Tableau Server has exactly the same technique. The first thing you need to do is head over to this question mark here on the top right-hand side that I'm highlighting in red. Once you click on that, there's another option at the very bottom that says about Tableau Online, and when you get there, you get the version number sort of laid out for you. Now, the thing you need to worry about here is just these first few numbers. I'll explain this towards the end of the video, but all you need to worry about is 2021.4.0. That's the version I'm on. I'll explain all those dots and what they mean a little later on. Now, if I head out of Tableau Online, let's close this. Here I'm on Tableau Prep. The way to find out here is very simple. I'm actually on a Mac here, so this is going to be much, much easier. Um, it, it's sort of slightly different in Mac and Windows. I, I clicked help there, but it's actually different on the Mac. You go to this uh, title here, and in that option, you have the about version there. And again, you get the same sort of pop-up and the version number is displayed here. So Tableau Online is on 2021.4.0, whereas my Tableau Prep version here is on 2021.4.3. Now that doesn't really matter because Everything is on 2021.4. But in essence, if you have some issues, maybe there's some bugs, you might find that your server is still running an older version. And again, I'll explain the version numbers shortly, but that's just the important thing to bear in mind. Those dots actually do matter, especially when issues turn up. So let's close Tableau Prep and let's head to Tableau Desktop. Again, I'm still on a Mac. Now, Tableau Desktop and Tableau Public share the same setup, so again, they're gonna work the same way. So for this, you go to Tableau Desktop. Anytime you've got it open, uh, you go over here to the Tableau option. You'll see there's a few more options. If I open the About page, you'll see that this time, here at the very top, we get that version. So this is on 2021.4.2. So Tableau Prep, Tableau Online and my Tableau Desktop, at least on a Mac, are all on slightly different versions. But the key thing here is they're all on 2021.4, okay? So that's a Mac done. Let's go over to Windows and find out how that works. So now here I'm on my Windows uh, virtual machine. Actually, I'm remoted into my desktop, which is right next to me. It's not virtual at all. But I'm in remote desktop connection here. And if I go to help and I click about, on Tableau Desktop, you'll see that I get the exact same setup here. So it's slightly different between Mac and Windows, but that's how to find out the versions. And uh, by now you should know how this works on Tableau Prep. If I go to the Help option there, hit the About Tableau Prep Builder, you'll see that we get the option there and the version number's right there at the bottom. So that's all the ways of finding out which version. Now, if you're using something like a Tableau Utility or anything that runs um, in the background, what they'll typically have is some sort of documentation that allows you to either do some command line um, parameters that will tell you the version, or if it's a utility that runs in your taskbar like Tableau Bridge, if you right click on that, there will be an about section that will explain which version it's on. Those tend to need to be updated to match the versions of Tableau Online or server that you're running. So just be aware of that. But other than that, that's how to find out what version of Tableau you're running. Okay, now I've explained how to find out which version you're using. Now it's time to explain what the versions actually mean. How did the version system work for Tableau? Let me go over to the browser here and you can see that I've just written down the different versions we came across whilst looking through what versions I had installed on my machine. For Tableau Online, we had 2021.4.0. For Tableau Desktop, we had 2021.4.1. And for Tableau Prep, we had 2021.4.3. That's essentially because each of these software, Tableau Online, Tableau Desktop, and Tableau Prep, are released at slightly different cadences. I'll come onto that a little later. But what's really key here is that the version number, okay? And that's what you need to pay attention to. If I scroll down, I've actually broken it down for you. So here we have 2021 part one. That's essentially just the year. So we're in 2022 now. So every version this year is going to start with 2022. Uh, the release essentially typically relates to the quarter. So there's typically four releases a year and uh, they come out roughly every th every three months. So, you know, that makes sense. There's, there's four releases a year. They come out every quarter, essentially, is how it works. Uh, but in essence, uh, the second part is just the release. So 2021.1 was the first release in 21. Uh, 2022.1 will be the first release in 22. So uh, that's essentially how that works. It's really that simple. This last dot here, this catches a lot of people out. This is just the patch version for that particular release. So 
If you think of each release each quarter as being a distinct thing, essentially they might go back and fix things within that release. Now let's assume that Tableau releases a new version of Tableau in the first part of this year. Of course it will be called 2022.1.0. The dot zero means it's the first release of that particular release, if that makes sense. Now when they find mistakes or when we report mistakes in the product or when we get in touch with them and say, hey, this isn't working correctly, they install patches and those patches are then deployed as subsequent point releases to that release. So in this particular case, we'd go to 2022.1.1. And so if I actually go to the Tableau release pages, if I just go here, Tableau releases, um, if I go to the release page, um, I can actually do this a slightly different way. I don't know why I searched that particular term. I think this would this will work just fine. If I go to this page and I just look at Tableau Desktop, if I open this little drop down, you'll see that there's multiple releases. Okay, so 2021.4 was the first one because of the log4j issue. They released a patch, so 2021.4.1, and then after that, 21.4.2. If I go back a bit further, you can see that they do patch these quite frequently. And so if I keep going back, you'll see that uh, you know you can even go all the way to 2020.3.14, which is essentially the 14th patch of the 2020.3 release. So it's a bit of a tongue twist is to sort of get all this right but in essence all the products get updated at slightly different cadences and so that's why those things matter now the reason these patches matter is because sometimes they fix known issues if i go to the top and i just go and i search tableau known issues Known issues are essentially things that Tableau are aware need fixing inside of the product. So if I go into this and I just go down here and I look at this, you'll see that there's actually a list of things that Tableau are aware that need fixing. And you can see these are open items and they typically tell you the product that it affects. Now, when they fix these things, they're actually included in patches and those patches will have release notes. So if I go to, let's go to one that doesn't have anything about log4j. Let's go to 21.3. Let's go to this one, 21.3. Dot five. Let's open that up. And if I go all the way down, you'll see the release notes contains updates to log4j21. Okay, that's a log4j one. Of course, they went back and fixed a bunch of stuff. Let's find something they didn't fix. Uh, okay, that still, <laughs> still contains a log4j issue. Let's go all the way back. Let's go to 24 here. Come on. So um, you can see here there's a resolved issue and this issue ID is actually something you would have found in this page here. So this page here has these issues IDs and over here when they get fixed, you'll see them in the versions. So the reason that final dot matters is that sometimes you come across a bug and you need it fixed and you therefore need to understand exactly which version you're on in order to make sure that you get the version that no longer has that problem. I can't tell you how many times I've been using Tableau, desktop prep or whatever and thought that I don't know how to use something, thought that I've sort of forgotten how to use something only to find that actually it's a known issue and you've come across a, a, an edge case. And there are normally workarounds for this. There's normally other ways of doing the same thing in Tableau anyway, um, but you'll find them all here and they should be documented. I will also say that not all known issues are actually logged on this page, which is why it's also important to check this page but you know, genuinely send in your request to Tableau support and make sure they validate that it's a bug so that you are not wasting your time you know, bashing it against the wall trying to fix something that you can't fix. So that's how all the versions work. If I go back here to the version I have in Excel draw, the first part is the year, the second part is the release, and the last part is the patch. That's all you really need to know. Now, what I will briefly say is that, look, all of these software have slightly different cadences. I've mentioned this already, but they update in slightly nuanced ways because in essence, each product has sort of come from a different heritage. So if I go to Tableau Prep, Tableau Prep doesn't tend to update old versions with new features. So for example, if you find a bug in 2021.3.3, the only option here is to upgrade to 2021.4 because they only update that version for a short window of time. You can see that they move quite quickly and they tend to release these things on a uh, monthly cadence. So you can see that they actually did do some of these uh, patches. If I go back here to 21.2.3, they actually did patch this, I believe, with the log4j uh, bug. So it's really, really important that you sort of do check these and make sure that um, you kind of make sure that 
um, you're using the right version and you're not going to be sort of left behind because you've, you're have you stuck with an old version that isn't going to get updated. So Tableau Prep has that quirk. Um, it's actually interesting they updated the Log4j issue here on this one because they previously said they wouldn't update this version. Um, so that's sort of interesting to see. So, you know, they do change their mind as well. But nonetheless, that's, that's how it works. I'll stop rambling and hopefully you found this video useful. Um, please hit subscribe if you found this YouTube video useful. Please hit subscribe if you found this video useful or share it with someone who might find it useful. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.